All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered. The point is to discover them. I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. In the sciences, the authority of thousands of opinions is not worth as much as one tiny spark of reason in an individual man. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with senses, reason and intellect has intended us to forgo their use. To understand the universe, you must understand the language in which it's written, the language of mathematics. To be humane, we must ever be ready to pronounce that wise, ingenious and modest statement I do not know. Two truths cannot contradict one another. Measure what can be measured and make measure of what cannot be measured. There are those who reason well, but they are greatly outnumbered by those who reason badly. Nothing can be taught to a man, only it's possibly to help him to discover it inside. The greatest wisdom is to get to know oneself. You cannot teach a person something he does not already know. You can only bring what he does know to his awareness. God is known by nature in his works and by doctrine in his revealed word. Who would dare assert that we know all there is to be known? It is surely harmful to souls to make it a heresy to believe what is proved. Nothing occurs contrary to nature except the impossible, and that never occurs. If you could see the earth illuminated when you were a place as dark as night, it would look to you more splendid than the moon. Science proceeds more by what it has learned to ignore than what it takes into account. Wine is sunlight held together by water. In questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. I am inclined to think that the authority of Holy Scripture is intended to convince men of those truths which are necessary for their salvation, which being far above man's understanding, cannot be made credible by any learning or any other means than revelation by the Holy Spirit. With regard to matters requiring thought, the less people know and understand about them, the more positively they attempt to argue concerning them. Mathematics is the key and door to the sciences. The prohibition of science would be contrary to the Bible, which in hundreds of places teaches us how the greatness and the glory of God shine forth marvelously in all his works and is to be read above all in the open book of the heavens. You may force me to say what you wish, you may revile me for saying what I do, but it moves. Facts which at first seem improbable will even on scan explanation, drop the cloak which has hidden them and stand forth in naked and simple beauty. Showing a greater fondness for their own opinions than for truth they sought to deny and disprove the new things which, if they had cared to look for themselves, their own senses would have demonstrated to them. Nature does not act by means of many things, but it can do so by means of a few. I think that in the discussion of natural problems, we ought to begin not with the scriptures, but with experiments and demonstrations. They who depend upon manifest observations will philosophize better than those who persist in opinions repugnant to the senses. Some merely to contradict what I had said did not scruple to cast doubt upon things they had seen with their own eyes again and again. It vexes me when they were constrained science by the authority of the scriptures and yet do not consider themselves bound to answer reason and experiment. I would beg the wise and learned fathers of the church 
to consider with all diligence the difference which exists between matters of mere opinion and matters of demonstration. But let us remember that we are dealing with infinities and the indivisibles, both of which transcend our finite understanding, the former on account of their magnitude, the latter because of their smallness.